Okay, today, 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 I want to talk to you. Now, why would you even bother? That's what I want to talk to you about. Why should I even bother? I'll tell you why you should even bother. You should bother because it's a life or death situation. Bother. The simple answer is obedience. See, your lack of obedience to God does not only affect you, but those who are around you. All throughout your life, your walk on this earth, your development, your experiences, they all lead up to this very moment. And whether it's this particular moment, it's an extravagant moment or a moment where to you, it seems like nothing is going right. Nothing is going on. The good Lord has it all figured out. Plan according to his will for your life. So the people you interact with throughout all those facets of your life, they matter. They matter more than you have known, more than you currently know, and probably more than you will ever know. There will come a point in time when one of those people in your life will be there to comfort you through what you may perceive as God not being there or God has forgotten about you. No, my brothers and sisters, God is always there for you and the people who comfort you are sent by God. This could be a family member. It could be friends. It could be a stranger. Since we are all selfish at some point in our life, some more than others, so we're all not equally selfish. There's some more selfish people in this world than others. I'll share this with you. Jesus dying for our sins. Just think about that. Jesus dying for our sins, for your sin, for my sins. Ponder on that for a moment. And listen to this. Jesus too asked God, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? That's Matthew chapter 27, verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama, sabah chathani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But listen to that. That's what Jesus said on the cross. But obedience to what? He knew God had planned for his life or the why to the why Jesus died on the cross for all of mankind's sin. How did Jesus know what God's plan was for his life? Because Jesus knew what was coming and he went on the cross. And even though he was on the cross, he cried out, why have you forsaken me, my God? But how did Jesus know what God's plan was for his life so that he would do what he ended up doing down on the cross for our sin? Jesus had a relationship with God and was able to communicate with God. Now Jesus, fully man, fully God, felt forsaken prior to his biggest challenge that he was about to experience. You're experiencing a challenge right now, and for some, you're going to experience your biggest challenge. And the rest of you, well, you just came out of what you perceived as your biggest challenge. But check this out. The man in Jesus, the weak meekness in Jesus. Now pay attention to what I'm about to say now. The you in Jesus. Now, don't get confused and all caught up into what I just said about you being in Jesus. That's not possible. But Jesus had a human side to him referred to as man. But Jesus died so that when we are scared and struggling and facing our biggest challenge in life, we have Jesus in us. We have Jesus in you. Now, take what I said literally. Without Jesus, which comes to us in the form of the Holy Spirit, we cannot conquer our fears, our transgression, or our inequities. You will feel forsaken at times, even after you accept Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior, but Jesus' death enables you to be like him when he called out to God. Remember, Father, why have you forsaken me? You can be like Jesus in that moment. But Jesus' death enables us to be like him when he called out to God. When Jesus called out to God, it was not in frustration or lack of belief. Jesus called out to God because the man in him was scared and struggling. But the God in Jesus, the spirit that is Jesus, knew what was about to go down. In the same manner, when you are in those dark places, remember that Jesus' death provides the same power that raised him from the dead. You have same access to that power. I'm going to tell you like this. There's the power in the name of Jesus. That's not just a song that has idle words with no meaning for you to bob your head to. 
like Jesus. All the experiences that Jesus encountered throughout his walk on earth led up to that moment on the cross. What do you think is meant by pick up your cross and follow Jesus? It means you have to kill the old you and be born again just like Jesus died on the cross. Jesus did the hard part by literally dying on the cross in a brutal fashion. All you need to do is tell God that you believe in Jesus and ask for forgiveness of your sins and make some sacrifices for the rest of your life. Simple. Now, you're probably thinking, I have to make sacrifices. Well, listen up, man. Would you rather die now and miss out on an eternity, which is why Jesus died, so all we who believe can be with him and God in the new earth? When heaven and earth meet, Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice so that the sacrifices you make do not lead to death, but lead to life. Jesus is his name, and Jesus loves you.